Hello, this is John with a demonstration of PC Mover. Uh, so, I'm going to use PC Mover to transfer all of my information from this old computer, here with the flower background, to my new computer that I'm remotely linked to, here, with my yellow background. So this is my new. Let's go back to my old. So to start, let's open PC Mover. And we're going to do a PC to PC transfer. So here's some impor important information. Please read through it all. Um, things to note. Uh, disable any security, firewall, uh, desktop search or backup software so that it doesn't interfere with the transfer. And uh, disable screensavers and any uh, Windows power saving options. Uh, yeah, you don't want your computer turning off in the middle of the transfer. Uh, close and exit all applications. And then just something to note here, um, it's that some applications may not be compatible with a newer operating system, so it's just some applications may not be moved. Uh, they can't be transferred. Click OK. So we're going to do our old computer first. So we're going to do this over a uh, Wi-Fi or wired network. This is how we're going to do this transfer. However, you can also transfer using the Laplink Ethernet cable or the Laplink USB cable. We're going to do the Wi-Fi. Okay, now PC Mover is going to scan my computer for, um, for all the information and all the things it needs to transfer over to the new one. Now that it's done scanning my computer, uh, we can. It, it has the option of sending you a um, email actually when it's finished. So we can, and it's optional, so we can skip that for now. Okay, so now it's done with my old computer. Now let's go to our new computer to do the next steps. Here's my new computer. Let's open PC Mover. PC to PC transfer. This is the same important information as before. Okay, and let's do a new computer. Over the Wi-Fi wired network. So you can see what it did here is that PC Mover already scanned the network and it automatically detected my old PC. Um, so and that's the name of my old PC right here. And um, and if it can't find the PC that you were working on, your old PC, you can also input an IP address. But it, it automatically scans and detects other computers that are running PC Mover. So I found that. That's good. Let's keep going. And now it's going to scan this PC. Now that it's done scanning, PC Mover gives you a couple options with how you want to perform the transfer. The standard transfer moves over known applications that are compatible with your OS, all your C drive files, your email messages, and your settings. While with the advanced transfer, we can customize some more options. So let's take a look at the advanced transfer. At the advanced transfer, we can do custom settings over here, user account selections, file filters, application selections, drive selections, and folder filters. So a couple places people have trouble with, uh, first let's start with application selections. If the application is green, it means that the application has been tested and will most likely work on your new PC. Yellow means that it might work, but it hasn't been tested. And red means that it probably won't. Um, sometimes applications are red because they already exist on the new PC, so that's also a possibility. Um, what PC Mover decides to move um, is based on the architecture of your operating system. And uh, it, it makes these selections by default. If it's a like architecture, such as a 32 to 32 bit transfer or a 64 to 64 bit transfer, then it selects both green and yellow applications automatically. So you can see here. So this transfer is 64 to 64 bit, so it automatically selected both. Um, however, if it's a cross architecture transfer, like in a 32 to 64 bit transfer, then only green is selected by default. Um, these are just the default selections, so uh, you can change them if you'd like example you don't have to transfer this if you don't want to um, and then with the red one and the red ones um, you know PC Mover is telling you that it probably won't work but you can override that too it'll just give you a warning over here 
Okay, and um, if there are applications you are unsure about, you can do multiple transfers between the same PCs without needing to get another license. To be safe, uh, you can first transfer the green applications, and then create a disk image of your new PC as a backup. After that, you can do the yellow applications part by part to see if they work with your new PC. Okay, and then the other, uh, the other part um, people have some trouble with sometimes is with user account selections here. So um, if there is a mismatch of users, an error will occur. The same domain and username needs to exist on both the old and new PCs for it to transfer, or else PC Mover will automatically create the user. And if you don't want to transfer a user, you can always just click them, say edit user and do not transfer. Okay. So I'll finish configuring the settings here and uh, we can continue with the transfer. Okay, now that I have um, now that I've configured the things I want to move over and transfer, um, PC Mover is going to configure that. So this is what PC Mover came up with. Um, I have 30 applications to transfer, um, total of 15 gigabytes, and the uh, the transfer will take around four hours. So I can just um, click next here. Once again, you have the option of having PC Mover email you once it's finished. Um, that's optional. Okay, now PC Mover is doing the transfer, so I can just sit back and relax, and uh, PC Mover will do the rest. All right, uh, PC Mover is done with the transfer, so now my new computer has all of my stuff from my old computer on it.